Well, our, our California State Park system, we have over 280 California State Park units. And Donner is really one of those that is kind of a marquee park unit. It's an internationally famous site. So Donner Memorial State Park is actually potentially sort of one of the, I don't know, two dozen or so parks that sometimes gets held up as an example of, you know, our California State Park system has beaches and places like Hearst Castle and memorials to history like Donner's. It took them about probably three days to get up here from what we know is, is Reno now, but it was Truckee Meadows. And I think their whole mindset was that they're going to make it over the Sierras, not having any idea of, of how much snow can fall in a number of days. Um, they got caught with an early winter. And a lot of people ask, why didn't they go back to... Um, where the game would be in Truckee Meadows, but I just think it was too much, and they exhausted their supplies. And I, I really thought they, they thought they were going to get out of here, and, and it didn't happen for them. So many of our visitors come and they camp here and they run out of graham crackers or they run out of mayonnaise and, and they, they can drive five minutes into town into Safeway or they, there's a, a Chevron sign that has a food mart that's actually visible from certain parts of the campground. And I think people don't necessarily take the time to reflect and say, gee, this is actually where the Donner Party tragedy occurred. And when they were here, they didn't, they didn't have a Safeway nearby. They obviously, there was no infrastructure in the American West at all. And I think we've, in just a short few generations, lost that total sense of self-reliance and the character, really, that, that a lot of the pioneers had. That pioneering spirit is, again, this is sounding a little cynical, I'm sure, but the pioneering spirit, I think, is missing a little bit today. I, I know that there's a good percentage of visitors, too, that come in and really absorb what is here as far as the drama of the history goes, but I think also there's a good percentage that uh, miss maybe some of the lessons that we might be able to glean in today's society from the reality of what the tragedy was in 1846-47. One of the first things that struck me when I went to the original Donna Memorial State Park is you saw a very small section of the Washoe culture. There were some things that were found in the area that are part of that. There were some baskets in the area, but it really was not a very good uh, display of our culture. It, it really didn't show all the things that we were involved with. And then you saw right off the side of it, you saw uh, some more Native American culture. It wasn't even part of this area here. It was from the Great Plains. And uh, so we wanted to, when, when, when we got involved with the Donner Memorial State Park, our purpose was is to be able to show how the Washoe people lived in this area here. What's so important, I, in my opinion, is to understand each tribe and what they bring to the table themselves. It's what, what makes that tribe so much more unique than, than the other tribes out there? And that's what um, is the important part of this, the Donner Memorial State Park on the Washoe display, is to show how unique the Washoe's, how their lifestyle was, was different than what you see in other tribes out there. Me and my wife had taught our children too that yeah, there's some bad things that happen over there too, but don't let that become a crutch for you. 
move forward and, and, and uh, look at life in a, in a very positive way and uh, be able to contribute to not only share our culture out there, but also to explain how our culture was uh, very vibrant in this area. There wasn't much written about um, what happened basically after the Donner Party. It got all the press. And this Truckee area uh, became, um, it was like a mecca for the railroad. And once the railroad was th through, there were railroad camps, there were ice factories. Um, actually, people after the Donner Party would come up when, when the train was completed and, and go on excursions and picnics. It became, it became a tourist town also pretty early. I think with for kids, it's it's the natural playground that we have here. It's Donner Creek and catching crawdads. It's going down to Donner Lake and wading. It's hiking on the trails. It's camping. It's the smell of roasting marshmallows. It's that that whole experience that I think the kids. And I know from from my own experience as a kid, uh, that was what I always appreciated about camping and and the, the history. Um, I think kids see it, but I don't know that all kids really fully comprehend the gravity of what occurred here during, uh, again, 1846 to 1847.